Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This video I am going to be showing off not just the baseballs I got this year, not just the game used ones, but pretty much all of them that I have. Majority of them are game used and majority of them are from this year, but there are some others as well. And um, right now I'm in the middle of editing videos. I uploaded a vlog video yesterday. I'm still in the middle of editing the next video, um, the next vlog video, I should say. So, um, I kind of needed something for today. Well, I didn't need something, but I wanted to upload something for today. And I thought it's the off season for baseball. Uh, it'd be a good time to do this now, uh, because I did want to eventually do this anyway. And, uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. So, as you can see, I have all the baseballs, or the majority of them, in these cases I did do a video when I first got these cases um, and they're only 12 at the time they're they have expanded since then um, and when I get these balls um, I do label them so this one is Somerset Patriots uh, Aaron Eggleston fell ball on August 16th 2016 and I did get this signed uh, I believe during the all-star game is when I got him to sign that and this one is not a game used one this is just one that I got very early on I it's weird because right now I have a bunch of uh, signatures from Sparky Lyle but this was like the first one that I got so uh, this one was like I said not game used this one was one in 2016 uh, given to me by one of the ushers he just had an extra one so he gave it to me and um, this was one of my first balls and I was kind of excited about it, so I got the entire team um, to sign it on one of those Sundays uh, where they just have autograph sessions before the game so the entire September version of the 2016 Somerset Patriots team uh, signed this and the blue one is, of course, Sparky Lyle. He had to have his own section. This one is not a baseball, as you can tell. But it is somewhat related. Um, I'll explain why. Because um, so I, I've had this puck sitting around for years. Like 2009 or 2010. Uh, 2016. Um, they had Devil's Night, and I'm pretty sure they do this every year, but that's just the year I went. And they had Ken Danico signing at the Somerset Patriots, so I got him to sign the Devil's Puck. And what do we have next? Next we have a Can-Am League ball. Actually, something I didn't show off about these other balls, of course, there's more coming up, but uh, this one... Obviously, the it has the Atlantic League on it, and it has the the normal Atlantic League logo um, from 2017. They have a different one. This is the regular one. And then the one that they used this year was a and it was a. Ooh. Okay, I got a, apparently a spam call, so I got rid of that. But this was the ball used in 2016. And the logo in 2017 was like a 20th anniversary thing. So this one is a Can-Am League ball from the Sussex County Miners. It was the first time I went this year, I believe. I have been going to it since, you know, the Miners opened in 2015, their very first season. But I didn't get the first ball from there until this year. And then I ended up getting three in the first game. So... Uh, Sussex County Myers foul ball in the second inning by Juan Duran on July 20th of this year. And there is his signature. Uh, I believe this was the game where it was like ladies night or whatever. So my mom wanted to go. And it actually opened one hour earlier than normally does. Normally it opens one hour before the game at 6. That time it opened at 5. So I was down at the field early while my mom was doing whatever she was doing getting free stuff and um yeah got a signature while he was warming up this one is the southern league i've only been to two southern league games i believe one of them when i was like five i think 
Uh, these are both Sussex, or what am I talking about? Uh, Jacksonville Suns is what I was looking for, now called the Jumbo Shrimp. But both times I saw them, they were the Jacksonville Suns. And this was the second time I went in 2011, uh, July 2nd, 2011. And uh, I wasn't closely keeping track of who the players were at the time, so I really don't know who tossed it up to me. But uh, someone did, and I got a Southern League ball out of it. And another Can-Am League one. You can see this one has a little scuff on the front, a little dirt. Um, not signed. This is also from July 20th. This is the other ball that I kept. Like I said, I did get three balls during this day. Well, one of them I did give away, so I don't have the third one, but I did keep two of them. Uh, this one was hit by the Ottawa Champions in the first inning by Steve Nice... I don't remember how to pronounce it. Nice Tar something. Um, next row. Next row we have a ball that is... Uh, very used up. This was opening night uh, this year for the Patriots. And there it is. And it is a batting practice ball from April 21st. And it's, the logo was there, but that got really rubbed off. And uh, the reason why I got these is because we had the picnic area for that night. And we were the first ones in line for that. It was just lucky enough to where right inside the gate in the mulch area, there were two balls sitting there, and this was one of them. So I got two balls, like, within the first 10 seconds of the season, which is pretty cool. And also, I got a ball there later in the season when the picnic area wasn't even open. And I was it wasn't in the mulch area, but it was right outside of it, so I could reach my arm under. Um, I think I did explain in a video. Um, probably the last video, probably the one with the helicopter as a thumbnail. It's probably the one where I got that ball. Another Atlantic League one, one that's more legible, but does kind of have a cool scuff right there where it was hit. This one is from the All-Star game. Um, this one, I, I was hoping that they would have a special All-Star game ball, but apparently they didn't. But anyway, I can still say that I got a foul ball from the All-Star game. Probably the most crowded game of the entire season, and I was still able to get a ball. So, that's pretty cool. Um, All-Star game, like I said, from the Lancaster Barnstormers. Anderson De La Rosa hit it, and it was a foul ball in the sixth inning. Pretty much popped straight back, and it was on July 12th. And you know, this one is pretty cool. This one is, doesn't look like much really. It almost looks like something that they would use in Little Leagues. But actually what this is, this is a batting practice ball from Scranton. Now the, the field was not open during uh, batting practice. However, some balls are left behind. Um, some that you can't see right away. And as you can see on the back here. Grand Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders from July 19th. And this is not the one that I originally saw. I did see a ball. Oh my, so many interruptions. But I did see a ball in uh, that, that, little, that little center field area that every field has that you can't walk into normally. Um, I'm sure if I asked, I could, but I just didn't think about it. I did see later a kid walking around with it, and I assumed that was it because it was gone. Um, and the game had started yet, so I didn't know where else he would have gotten a ball from. But this ball, I also do have a video on this. Um, it was under a party porch, and you just happened to look down and see it. And there happened to be a little bit opening, a little bit of an opening by the ramp, because there was like a ramp up there. And, um, if you just squeeze between, not really squeeze, it wasn't that tight, but between the ramp and the rest of the party deck... Uh, you could get below the party deck, and um, you could get this ball, which was pretty cool. Probably the most cool. 
as I was saying, it's probably the weirdest way that I've gotten the ball. But, um, super cool. This one is my only International League ball. And me having gone to several Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs games over the years, as well as a Scranton game this year. The, this is actually not from either of them. This is from Louisville, the one game that I went to Louisville. It's not a foul ball or anything. I, I will assume that it is a batting practice ball or something. Um, we actually made friends down there with the usher. Um, there, uh, Once again, there's a video of this um, from like last year, 2016. But... Yeah, basically made made friends with the usher, and um, like eighth inning asked me if I got a ball. I said no, and uh, here we are with an international league ball. And yeah, Louisville bats usher given because I didn't really know what else to call it. Uh, from June twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen. And um, if anyone's wondering, no, I do not have any major league balls yet. Despite the fact I went to like nine this year and a couple others in the past. But I've not gotten a major league ball yet. Um, all minor league. So this is another really scuffed Atlantic league ball. You can at least read it. This is the 20th anniversary one, but of course I put the label over it. Oh, this one. Oh, this one was uh, also from the All-Star game, I think. Yeah, All-Star game. I forgot that I actually gotten two during the All-Star game. Uh, other one was more important because it was during the game. Well, this one, uh, basically, you know, every time I go there, I check between the fence and the outfield wall, make sure that there's no balls there that I could easily reach in and take. So the ticket taker, I called him apparently. Uh, but yeah, the guy taking tickets, he saw me doing it. He happened to have a ball, so he rolled it to me across the parking lot. And um, here we are with with another ball. Again, All-Star Game, so July 12th. I actually completely forgot that I got two balls from All-Star Night. Ooh, another really scuffed up one, as you can tell. Uh, this one has a 20th anniversary logo on it, 98 to 2007. Uh, this, oh, this was the batting practice ball from September 23rd of this year. The last game where, as I mentioned before, I reached onto the fence and got it right near the picnic area. Um, and here's probably the cleanest one I have. Uh, this is still game used, although it is pretty clean, as I mentioned. Um, Atlantic League, 20th year. And uh, let's see. Uh, Los Angeles, or Los Angeles, Long Island Ducks, Giovanni Alfonso, foul ball parking lot, August 16th, so what this was, again, video, um, Alon Alonzo hit it, um, foul ball, I didn't think anything of it, and later in the game, it, uh, or not in the game, but after the game, leaving, um, just happened to see this ball in the parking lot, which is really weird because there was a lot of people who left before us. It was sitting right in the middle of a parking space in a handicap section, uh, right in the open of the sidewalk. So it was really weird that no one picked this up, but it's another ball. I feel like I've been super lucky to get as many balls as I did this year. Of course, I would also like a major league ball sometime next year. Um, so Can-Am League ball, um, who is this? It's from the Jackals, foul ball, um, top of the second, Brian Bergamy, on, uh, I can't think, July 27th, I don't know why I couldn't think of that, but this was another daytime game at Sussex County Miners, um, Brian Bergamy, as shown, hit the foul ball in the second inning, and I was able to get it. Um, this is one that I believe went on that like party deck, which it being a 10:30 game, no one was using. So I was able to climb up there and just easily get it. It was stopped by one of the tables, so it was kind of just sitting there. And now, 
Ron, you thought we might be done, but nope, we're up to stay here. And uh, here we have another Atlantically one. We have Bridgeport at Somerset. Uh, Sean Burroughs foul ball, sixth inning, May 27th. And um, yeah, Sean Burroughs is a former major leaguer. So it is pretty cool to get a foul ball hit by him. And uh, yeah, I mean, not too much else to say about that. Uh, we have a New York Penn League ball. This is from the one game I went to in Staten Island. Could have probably gone up to three if I was really aggressive with it, but I let other people around me get it. Um, the first ball, uh, some girl a couple rows in front of me got it. Uh, and a lot of them ricocheted. That's how so many ended up in my section. I was right behind on plate, basically. A lot of them ricocheted off of the, I don't know whether they're suites or what, but the building right above and back into the rows in front of me. So a girl got the first one. I got the second one because I felt like maybe there wouldn't be another chance. So I got this New York Penn League ball then. Then a third one was given to a kid in the section over. So, yeah. Let's see who hit this. This was also the game where it was like a no-hitter for both teams until like the eighth inning. Um, Williamsport cross cutters. Rodolfo Duran foul ball top of the second on August 10th of this year. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now this one, I, I wasn't fortunate enough to get a game used ball. But this one was bought in the store. Um, but I just thought it was too good of an opportunity to pass up since this is what would have been if I had been lucky to get a ball. Um, but it is from the AAA National Championship game, which I did attend. Obviously, I do have a video. Here's the logo for it. I guess that's the best angle. And um, nothing written anywhere because, like I said, it was store-bought. But I thought it was too good to pass up the opportunity to buy it. I, there was one home run in that game. It was a grand slam that was kind of near me. But then I got caught by that Honda fence or whatever and went back onto the field. So, another Atlantic League ball. From apparently I marked it with gold sharpie from April 21st. Patri oh, this is the other batting practice ball that was in the mulch by the picnic area. What do we have we have the Pacific Coast League, my only Pacific Coast League ball. This was from Las Vegas, uh, from 2012, I believe. And uh, once again, this was when I wasn't keeping track, so I have no idea who tossed it up. But it was another toss up. Um, yeah, Las Vegas 51's toss-up, July 6, 2012. So, I have basically one of those from Pacific Coast League in Las Vegas and from Southern League in Jacksonville. And we have the Can-Am ball. Another one of these. This is from the Jackals. Oh, this was the one ball I got from the Jackals Stadium. Uh, Yogi Bear Stadium. This was the game that was rained out uh, after like six innings or whatever. So after the game, or after it was called rather, um, we parked in a really weird park because the main parking lot was closed. But it turned out to be better because we parked basically where the workers are. So there was not really a lot of people there. And I thought it'd be great to check in the bushes just in case because we did see a couple foul balls go out there. And lo and behold, we found this one which was wet for like weeks. This ball was wet for a long time because uh, it was soaking in the rain in the bushes. But yeah, it was a foul ball in the bushes on August 2nd of this year. Okay, so I was going to switch over to my camera because this was like below 5%. But for some reason, as soon as I plugged it in, it went all the way back up to 23 immediately. I have no idea how that happens but it does so uh we're, we're back to the phone and um this is the final game used ball i believe um this is another atlantic league ball from some of patriots aaron eggleston foul ball uh father's day june 19th 2016 this is the very first atlantic league ball that i've gotten uh it was actually a sweet 
it wasn't a private suite it was a public suite uh, i don't have a video of this one but i do have an instagram picture um whereas like the field in the background basically this one like a section over um bounced off the window of the suite and right into my hands before it fell down below so this is my very first Atlantic, Atlantic League ball, despite the fact that I've been going pretty regularly since 2009. Didn't get the first one till last year. Uh, this one is actually from 2009. This is just Patriots. All these ones are coming up are store-bought. This one, I don't know how it got so scratched up, but this is from Pittsburgh, um, you know, Heinz. Just from a random Pittsburgh store. From 2015, I went to Pittsburgh, I believe. This one um, was during their fall clearance sale. This is the ball that I was hoping they were going to be using during the game. This would have been really cool, but apparently it was just a promotion for the store. Uh, but I got this during their fall clearance sale, so it was like 50% off or something. So yeah, I uh, thought that was cool. Again, this one is also from the fall clearance sale. I thought this one was really cool. How they have all of the teams from this year on it. I, I this year I was kind of especially excited with the stuff that had the bluefish on it because obviously they're no longer there. And um, I've shown this off before, but um, the gigantic All Star Game poster uh, with also on all the teams on it and bluefish over here on the side and as well. So the, I don't think I ever did show this off, or I probably did because it was probably in a video somewhere. But they all, they also had a deal after the last game of the playoffs uh, for like 30% off. And, um, you know, just bluefish because, not necessarily because I'm a huge fan of them, um, but like I said, just because they're out of business now. I thought it would be cool to pick up bluefish memorabilia before they leave. And uh, this would be like normally like $120. So normally I wouldn't even touch this, but it was like 50% off. And then, of course, we have the gigantic, not that gigantic, but we have Bluefish Game Today sign, which is, you know, something that they would stick in the ground, sort of, and uh, signed by every one of the team as of the final game. And um, well, so we have this one, which I don't have a package for. Um, and by the way, some of those that are store-bought, the reason why they're in cases is they're really just kind of a placeholder until I get more balls next year. And then as I get more game used balls, they will replace those. This one is from 2012. This is a 15th anniversary ball. So I also have a shirt that says 15th anniversary. And all these tennis balls, these, well not all of them, at least five of them, the ones that are numbered like this are from the miners. Um, it's supposed to have a one of those things where you toss out the tennis balls and you win prizes. I did actually win a shirt one time from it a couple of years ago. Um, but, uh, th these ones weren't planning on keeping, we're actually planning on playing, but rain came in the eighth inning, um, and we left, and yeah, tennis balls were never used. So, um, last one here, just sitting right here. This one is a, obviously a camouflage one. This is from September 12th of this year. This is their military day. They called it something specific, I, I forgot what it was. Military Appreciation Day, something like that. Um, but uh, why can't I not remember his name? He has, basically they honor this guy and his foundation every year. Uh, John Bassalon, why can't I not remember that? But that's from last year. Um, Bobblehead. 2016. This year they're giving away these. These little baseballs. So um, pretty cool, pretty cool. I think that may be it. And, uh, yeah, leave comments, see what other, what other stuff, because I have a lot of stuff in here, what other stuff uh, you might be interested in me showing off, you know. Um, if you've noticed, there's been some gaps in videos just because these vlog videos take longer than you think to edit, like several hours worth of each video. Me looking through it several times, you know, adding all the text, it doesn't seem like it would take that long, but it really does. So I do need more placeholder videos, or I want to put more placeholder videos like this. Stuff that would still be interesting to people. And uh, so yeah, let, let me know if there's anything else uh, you want me to show off. 
Uh, I'm thinking maybe these bats because, you know, my collection's still growing just like the baseballs, but, you know, I have enough bats to make a whole video on. And, um, yeah, I think that may be it. Uh, once again, leave suggestions, and uh, I will see you all later.